Hey guys, Tech Manny here, also known as Matthew Rivera, and today, today I have a very, very special video. I'm going to be reviewing this microphone right over here. This is the Toner CC 777 USB condenser microphone. Now, I had one other toner microphone, and this is nice to have in my arsenal of toner microphones because they are a really good brand. And the microphone I got is the Toner BM700, which is this guy here. And I have not used this in a while because as you can see over here, this is my main microphone. That is the MXL 990. And with the microphone desk stand that you see there, that came with this along with a few other things. And I have not used this microphone in a while. It's just been sitting in one of my cases. And um, honestly, it's a very good microphone, but my main one is the MXL 990. Now, before we dive into this unboxing, I want to look at the specs for this microphone so let's check that out now that is a really good spec for a microphone correct so let's grab this box over here so the specifications are a cardioid polar pattern which is it's going to be right here that's what basically a cardioid pattern is it's like a backwards heart in a way now the sample rate is 44.1 kilohertz and 16 bit. Now if you're not into audio, you don't really care about that really. But it actually is a major difference because if you're an audio guy like I am, I am basically studying to become an audio engineer. So I know all, I basically know every single thing that it's saying here. But basically 44.1 kilohertz and 16 bit is CD quality. So what my audio interface does is 196 kilohertz and 32 bit float. The frequency is 100 hertz to 16 kilohertz. That is pretty decent. Considering it is a USB microphone, it is pretty decent because of usually a human ear, our ears can go up to 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. And 20 hertz is down here or than in the lower octave. It's basically called the brown note in a way. And it can go even lower, but usually our human ears can range from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Now the sensitivity is negative 38 dB plus or, get plus or minus 3 dB. Now from my understanding of what sensitivity is, it's just a matter of how much volume that the microphone can pick up before it starts transmitting, if that makes sense. Now the output outpedance is just the amount of power it is recommended, basically. Now that is the basic specs of the TC777. Now let's jump right into the unboxing because I'm really curious of what this looks like. Okay, so basically this is the Toner TC777. It's a USB condenser microphone, as I said, and right out of the box, out of this package where I got it, it has two years warranty. That is really cool. Um, basically, this packaging is very attractive in a way because it's all black and then the toner and this glows. It like has a glossy finish to it. It's very nice. On this side, you have the specifications, of course. And this side here is very nice because um, you get to see all the geeky type things here. Now, over here, we have the toner on the bottom. There's nothing big. And we have these logos here. And then here, it's new, some kind of number, contact info, which is support at tonerdirect.com. And then the company's website is www.tonermic.com and as i said before i my expectations are very high for this because i've had a toner bm 700 and um, that is a very good sounding microphone i like it but i haven't used it because i have my mxl 990 um, and the toner bm 700 came with this boom stand right here which is really really cool and I've been using this boom stand for years now and has not even broke yet. So hopefully 
knock on wood. <laughs> but anyways, this box is nothing big. Um, there's nothing good. And of course, I have not opened it yet. It still has these stickers here. And um, without further ado, let's grab my unboxing knife <laughs> and open this up. I'm very excited to test this out. Close this out. Okay. So let's see what we're greeted with. Okay, so this is a replacement warranty. We have this two year replacement warranty. So that's nice to have. Here it is. It's very nice. And on the other side. It's very nice. So let's place this off to the side right here. Now we have the instruction manual and wow, this is actually pretty thick for an instruction manual. So there's English. Oh, that's why it's thick. It's basically eight pages long, but it goes through all the different languages. But um, so basically this is computer setup and this can work in the, uh, it can work on a Mac and it can also work on a Windows as well, as you see here. Yeah, it's just basically an instruction guide. And this is the FAQ, which is pretty cool. Yeah, you can use Audacity with this as well, which is nice. Positioning the mic, um, protecting your mic, and recording software settings. Okay, let's move this to the side. And now, we're gonna come to this. And this is a little tiny pop filter. I've never seen anything so tiny before in my life. Oh, that's so cute. So, this is the... <laughs> This is the little tiny pop filter here. It's basically the size of my palm, no joke. It's very cute. And it looks like it can screw in right here. This is the little tiny, oh, it's actually connected to the microphone assembly line here. So let's pull this out. Well, first off, we have a uh, uh, windscreen here for the microphone. You can slide it onto this area which is really, really cool. Then this entire thing comes out like so. And um, that's basically it. There's nothing really much. It's just the carving out of the box, which is very nice. So this is USB, as I said. And um, here's the USB cord. It has a nice design for the USB, but this is a, uh, it's like sort of um, built into this thing. Um, into the microphone and it comes with a stand as well So the stand comes up like this and you can open it like this and the and to note um, The stand is metal. This is rubber right here for the feet. This is metal the stands then this is plastic so when you're getting this please be careful when you're getting this because of The plastic on metal of course. I hope we all know that plastic and metal don't go right so you just have to be really delicate with plastic and uh, metal so basically this is what it is it actually articulates very nice um you can't oh you can move it side to side but it's um this is like a screw thing here so you can unscrew this you'll have this connector right here and this is plastic so you have to be really careful because some of the adapters that you get like on a mic stand or something like that those adapters are metal so when you plug when you put this in just be really careful with um, how you screw those things in but this is a really cool microphone and i like how you can disconnect this you can actually place this on something like a boom stand right here or a, a microphone boom stand so I wonder, yeah, you can take this out, but I think it's going to be a hassle with this here. But um, basically, this is this construction is very nice. And um, I like the toner thing here. So usually, like the MXL 990 here, there is a the MXL logo in front. And that's where you're supposed to talk into with the logo in front. So I assume the logo that's right here, this is where you talk to. So the, the, the construction is very nice and it's, it's, it has a plastic shell. The crate is metal, but um, it feels, it has like a decent weight to it minus this thing here. 
So this is very nice. And um, the shock mount, this is a shock mount. And um, the shock mount is plastic. And um, these are like rubber bands, it looks like, but it's more durable, stronger. And you can see that it does move quite nice. So it does move quite nice, as you can see. But um, of course, plastic, you just have to be really careful and not break it and be rough with it and all that. But I want to screw this one on here. So you can see that right here, there's a little tiny metal screw inside here. And there's a screw right here. And this is like a gooseneck feel to it because it's you can move it around. So uh, let's screw this on. And you can place it right in front of it. Just you have to move it around a bit like a regular pop filter. And that's that, it's actually pretty nice. I like this because it's like for people who have a small setup and who wants to record little tiny um, things here and there and also want to do some gaming videos and um, just want to have something small. And I think this is pretty ideal for gaming because I think I'm going to be using this for gaming because I usually record my gaming stuff. By the way, I have a gaming channel. The link is going to be in the description box below. But I usually um, use my MXL and my audio interface and I connect it to my laptop, which is right here, via an extension USB cord. And it's, <laughs> it's really a hassle because I have to transfer between the two. And um, basically, this will allow me to just edit on my laptop and I don't have to transfer over to my Mac that's over here and just go back and forth. So this is pretty cool to have here. So let's undo this USB right here. I want to see how long this is. So this thing is pretty big, honestly, like I'm guessing about maybe three feet ish, five feet ish, right around there. So you can have enough room to like if you have a tower or something, you can just connect it to your tower and run it over and all that. And the USB um, connector has a, like a nice design instead of it being like flat and it has a square and it has that USB logo. It actually has a quite nice um, design to it. Little tiny things that make this thing really unique, you know? So this microphone um, is quite long and it's like almost the exact size of the BM700. So in comparison, this is the Toner BM700. This has been <laughs> sitting in a mic case for a very long time. I haven't used it ever since I got this one. But as you can see, it's like, wow, it's actually almost the exact same height. Let me pull this out just to show y'all. Wow, it's actually very, very close. Actually, it's, yeah, <laughs> it's very similar to a Toner, the Toner BM700. Um, the only thing that's different is this is um, this area where the cardioid or diaphragm is. This this one is smaller and this one's bigger. So if I try to line these up, you can tell this one is smaller, this one's bigger. Then when I sort of line it up from top to bottom, they are like exactly the same height. That's pretty neat. So overall, I think the construction is very good. And I actually do like, um, I just like how compact this is as well as it's just small and like it doesn't take a lot of room on your desk. My laptop usually goes from here to here and I can probably just place it like right here or I can tilt this up and like move it up like this or turn this thing like this and have me sitting here, this pop filter here, gaming or whatever. It's actually quite nice to have and um, yeah. It's a little tiny nice things. And of course we have this uh, pop screen here, or you can have whatever you can call it, and it just slides on like this. And um, of course, over time, these little tiny creases will um, go away. But yeah, this is pretty cool. <laughs> so this is what we get in the box. We have the two year replacement warranty. Then we have the instruction guide on how to like install it on your Windows and Mac and troubleshooting and all that. We get the actual microphone itself with the stand as well and we get this pop filter, pop screen. And then we actually get the pop filter separated that you have to screw onto this as well. So that's it for really the unboxing. So let's jump right in to the testing part of this. 
Now that was the unboxing and that is a really cool microphone. Now you're wondering, where's the microphone? It should be in use right now. Well, right here, that's the microphone. I've been using this microphone throughout the entire review, unboxing, everything. The review for the GoPro is the GoPro Audio, but basically the intro and right now I've been using the Toner TC777, which is pretty cool, right? Now, before I move on, I want to show you how to connect it to OBS. When I was setting this microphone up, since it's a USB microphone, it's very different than a audio interface like this UMC 404 HD I'm using for that. It is very different because it's just an input. There's no output for you to actually hear. It's just the output of your basic computer. And I'm using my Windows right now, which is on the ground right here. And my microphone, which is the TC777 right here, is going through USB into OBS. I'm going to show you how I route that. And I did have trouble routing Pro Tools in this. Now, of course, if anybody wants me to route um, Pro Tools or Odyssey using this microphone, comment down below and I will definitely do a follow-up video to that. So let me show you how I connected it to OBS. It was actually fairly easy. So right now, you are hearing me through my audio interface and my microphone is the MXL 990. I'm not using the Toner TC777. So what you do is that you plug in the USB and then You'll wait and you'll get this notification. Then after that, you'll get another notification saying the device is ready. So we need to get this microphone to work with OBS. So we go into settings, audio, and then you'll see the microphone toner T77 right here. You press that. Click apply and OK. So I'm going to go into control panel right now and I'm basically following the instruction manual that I showed earlier in this video. You go to hardware sound and you go to sound. Now the instructions say to check the speaker icon so you go to properties and what this is saying is that it's basically already activated so I don't really have to uh, fool with it because that's ma that's my main speakers so we're gonna go to recording and properties here under the microphone here now with this setting here that what that is is that it allows you to monitor your microphone as you can see it's already going to the default speaker which is my laptop speakers so you press apply and OK now you can go back into properties and go to levels in the microphone and you can adjust that slider but I just kept it the same here so you can press OK Now if I clap, you'll see it in the computer audio. And that is really cool. That means it is transmitting. So let's go back. Pretty easy, right? I mean, it's very straightforward, really. It's almost a plug and play thing, but I always follow the directions of the microphone. Now to prove that I'm actually using this microphone, I'm gonna move this in frame just a tiny bit more. So here is the microphone. I've been using it for the entire video all in its glory and it, honestly in my opinion it sounds fantastic so this microphone is pretty neat it's very compact it's very small and i easily connected it onto my boom stand as you can see as you saw in my unboxing that you can unscrew it from the actual mic stand so this microphone is very cool it sounds perfect for gaming and that's what i'm going to be basically using this for this microphone is going to be connected to my windows computer and anytime i want to record any type of gameplay using my computer like minecraft or any type of game that requires me to do a voiceover or even a voiceover for um on a screen or something recording my screen this is the microphone i'm going to be using and not my mxl 990 
using my audio interface because I have to have an extension USB for me to connect it to my Windows computer with the USB that's coming to coming out of the UMC 404 HD into my Mac. And I have a USB hub that's back there connected with every type of audio thing, my MIDI keyboard, my UMC, my blue audio interface, which is right here, which is the audio box i2 from Pisonis, and, and my iLock USB for Pro Tools. But this microphone helps with alleviating all that confusion. It's just a plug and play type thing. I'm very excited to use this in the future. Now, the big question is, will I use this on my channel? And I'm going to say is that I have no idea. This microphone is usually just going to be for voiceovers for probably using on my Windows computer. And I am going to use this for gaming, most definitely gaming. Now I have not tried this on my Mac and I think it's the same thing. Probably the Mac is a little bit more easier of plug and play, but the Windows, of course, I know, I know that Windows, it does have issues with routing with certain things. As I said before, if you want me to do a follow up on using Audacity and Pro Tools routing this microphone, I'll definitely do a video for that. Have you subscribed yet? If not, what are you doing? You should. When you subscribe, there is something called a notification bell. And when you press that, you will get notified whenever I upload a video like this or any type of video. I also have a vlogging and gaming channel. The links will be in the description box below and you can check it out at the last 20 seconds of this video. Anyways, guys, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the sound quality of this. I do personally. It's an amazing quality for a USB microphone. And I also want to thank the company that sent this out to me. You guys are amazing. And I look forward to reviewing much more microphones and products from you. Anyways, guys, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's any questions, comments, concerns, if anything that I missed in this video, please comment down below and tell me what I missed, what you want to know, and if you want me to do a follow-up video for Audacity and for Pro Tools connecting this microphone to it. So please comment down below and tell me. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and this is the Tech Manny signing off. See you later, guys. Thank you.